Well, new tonight, employees at a local truck stop are working to help their co-worker after his fiance was killed in a car crash. It happened off of Shallowford Road near I-75 yesterday morning at about 6.30. The 23-year-old victim not only leaves behind her fiance, but their three-year-old son as well. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland has the story. It just hits so close to home. It just it's so sad. November 22nd, 2019 is a day Chuck Blaylock says started off like any other. She brought him to work and dropped him off and kissed him by and, and then she lost her life on Shallowford Road. Police say Alicia Nazario lost control of her car before slamming into a car to bus. She was pronounced dead at the scene, leaving behind parents, a sister, a fiance and a son. You know, the baby is he's three years old and was in the car wreck with her, you know, and now he don't have a mama. Alicia is someone he says everyone will miss. She wasn't afraid to hug your neck and, and just she was just so full of love and compassion and life. Blaylock works with Alicia's fiance Alex and a Cherokee truck equipment co-workers seem to double his family. And I was like, you know, we need to take up some money for Alex and you know, something. Let's do something for him. That something took its form in a GoFundMe page. He's hoping this will help pay for funeral expenses as well as replacing the only car the family of three had. This is something that we're doing for Alex because we love him and he's our brother. Travesties like this just happen in the blink of an eye and you just you don't know what tomorrow holds and, and life is a heartbeat away. Well, that was Hunter Hoagland reporting. If you'd like to donate to help the family, we'll post the link to the GoFundMe inside our WRCB app. Well, a second man has been arrested in an in